Collectibles. This is Cody. Uh, so, uh, I just wanted to say uh, thanks because there's been a, a kind of a big boom for me lately for subscribers. Um, like, I don't know, 15 within the last 28 days or whatever according to my analytics. So, uh, uh, here recently that just seems like a lot for me. So, uh, if you're a new subscriber, uh, thanks, for, thanks for coming on board. I hope you like what you see. Always trying to find and pick up and share uh, cool new things. So, one of the things that we do around here uh, typically is the weekly haul. This is the bi weekly haul. Um, I took last week off, um, and one of the things I wanted to do was make a bunch of videos, and I made none. <laughs> but, uh, man, I got a lot done at home and uh, had a good time. With the family on fall break so just getting right into the things that I got um, I'm gonna start off with my anniversary gifts so uh, part of it was uh, we had our anniversary and that started the week off we went out for the evening and my wife is a card maker as many of you know um, so I got a little uh, Frankenstein card um, that uh, she says that I have her heart so, those are the kind of things that she likes to make me, um, and they're always so cute. And she also got me this to go on the shelf. It's uh, Frankenstein holding a candy corn, uh, setting on a flashing pumpkin, and a little LED in there, so man, the battery ought to last a long time, I hope. Um, but so far, I've kept him shut off. And uh, I'm going to flash up a picture. She got me a couple of uh, Halloween decorations, a couple of ghouls, um, ghosts swinging uh, that you can hang from your rain gutters outside. So check these out. And I think those are fun and those are cool. Um, so we have them out there and will through Halloween and maybe even a week after. And then... Excuse me, still drinking my morning coffee. Um, the last thing that she got me was when we were in Spirit of Halloween. Uh, she said, you need this. Um, and picked it up, but then held it back as an anniversary present. And that worked because I forgot that she bought it. Um, but a Halloween 2 mug. So I have a, sorry for the glare. Um, I have a Halloween mug already that I think has the face of uh, the curse of Michael Myers on it. So this is Halloween too. You can see the gurney in the background. He's holding the scalpel. Um, so I thought that was cool. So Halloween 2 is one of my favorites. Uh, then I went to Half Price Books one day um, and picked up a few books. Uh, so in their dollar pile I got uh, Dennis Leary, Suck On This Year. Um, it's just a collection of tweets that Dennis Leary uh, sent out. So, I mean, not a book that I probably would have paid for because this is what you got. Um, a, uh, 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 you know, a tweet and a picture. And actually, uh, it's kind of funny. There's one that's kind of horror related. Uh, Wesley Snipes has to serve three years in jail. Dennis Leary says not for tax evasion, but for the Blade trilogy. <laughs> so, we I definitely uh, don't agree with two-thirds of that comment, because I love the first two Blade movies. Um, but yeah, that was a dollar, so I thought, hey, why not? I got uh, Nick Offerman's Paddle Your Own Canoe. Um, this is a, uh, says, one man's fundamental Fundamentals for Delicious Living. I think Nick Offerman's funny. Uh, love Ron Swanson. Um, you know, his character. Uh, I got Bill Maher, uh, New Rules. Uh, that was on the dollar pile. And, uh, of course, I always like the New Rules segment. Then I got this because I couldn't remember if I had it or not. Uh, I definitely had it on tape. Um... But this is a sixth installment in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by, I can't even say that name, Ian, Eon, uh, Eon, I don't know, Colfer. And he 
So I've listened to the book on tape, and he very much writes in the style of Douglas Adams. And this, uh, this just continues the uh, story. So yeah, I'm a big Hitchhiker's Guide fan. And then I found some movies, also at Half Price Books. Found this uh, classic sci-fi ultimate collection. Um, apparently this is volume one. I found out last night from Mark that there was two volumes of this. I looked on Amazon and knew it was like $80, which I thought you got to be kidding me. But they had some used ones for $20. Um, but anyway, this includes Tarantula, The Mole People, The Incredible Shrinking Man, The Monolith Monsters, and Monster on the Campus. Um, I've not seen Monster on the Campus. I've seen the others. I watched Tarantula earlier in the week because I hadn't seen it in a long time, and that was always one of my favorite giant bug movies, right up there with uh, them and uh, Earth vs. the Spider. Uh, pretty much of a spider's involved. I'm going to watch it. Um, also picked up Hideous. I'd never seen this and sent uh, the gang a message and said, Hey, anyone seen this? Should I get it? And Phil replied, Hey, it's... Uh, it's full moon. You can't go wrong. <laughs> so, picked it up. Have not watched it. Uh, I went to Best Buy one day and I picked up the steel book for Mandy. And this was only $12 at my Best Buy. Um, and uh, uh, it comes with uh, tattoos. Uh, four tattoos you can, temporaries you can put on. There he is firing up the chainsaw. Um, I've not watched this yet. I know Ben likes it, um, so I wanted to check it out, and I figured for $12 I would. Uh, then one day my son texted me from uh, Best Buy and said, hey, they have a steel book for Inglorious Bastards, which is one of my favorite Tarantino movies. This is the 4K. Uh, I'm not going to take the discs out, but the other side is you know, Brad Pitt. It's when they're looking down on that first Nazi soldier that they carved his forehead um but uh, yeah 4k steelbook for that uh and i got things out of order also at half price books picked up a copy of high tension uh unrated version so check that out uh seen high tension it's just been a long time don't remember a whole lot of it other than it was just kind of whack whacked out crazy um and then uh, my, my favorite pickup here recently, I got the Ricky O uh, set from 88 Films. And uh, this was on Orbit DVD. Got it from Orbit. Got this nice, uh, rigid uh, slipcover. And it comes with a booklet uh, about the movie. Probably more information about uh, uh, the story of Ricky than anyone would ever care to know. Um, and, of course, you get the Blu-ray. It is a Region B Blu-ray, um, so I had to use my Region Free player, um, so the, the art, the art on the disc is him pulling the, uh, spike out of his hand. Here's the original cover art, the original, I guess, Hong Kong cover art, uh, on the flip side of the label. And besides the booklet, you get a double-sided poster of the original artwork again. And then the new 88 Films artwork where he's knocking the top of the guy's head off. Uh, and some postcards. Just different shots from the movie. There's the warden. Um, there's one of the... Uh, Prison bosses, I guess you'd say, one of the cell leads. He's knocking at the wall. Uh, just an insane, um, an insane and gory kung fu movie. Always enjoyed it. Um, never had a copy before this, so uh, happy to uh, finally add it to the collection. Uh, do wish it was 4K, um, even though I still don't have that capability. Uh, but, oh well, anyway, it was sold out on, uh, it was sold out on Orbit DVD when it first announced. I don't know how many copies that they ran, but, uh, Orbit 
was going to have them and I checked in too late and they were already sold out. I was texting Mark and I was like, look at this, damn it, I missed it. And uh, I signed up on Orbit's website to be notified when they were back in stock and sure enough, I got a text that they were back in stock because 88 Films announced that they had such a uh, uh, demand for it that they, I think they said on Twitter they were going to print two more thousand copies. Um, so, yeah, I was able to get one. So that's it. That's the bi-weekly haul. Um, I know things that are coming, things that are in the mail finally. Uh, I got the shipping notice for my Halloween 4Ks from Sacred Bones. Um, they're not at the post office yet, but the label's been created. Uh, same goes for the John Carpenter tribute album. Uh, shipping label created, not in the mail yet. Uh, my Halloween Kills from Waxwork is supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, and I think that's about it for anything that's actually like inbound. Uh, so once I get those John Carpenter 4Ks, I'll probably do a, a special video on those. Uh, I get the Halloween kills. I'll do a colored vinyl Tuesday for it, I hope. I've got some colored vinyl I need to get out. I think I got Rambo, Children of the Corn, uh, maybe one or two others that I still haven't shown. Um, so yeah, just trying to catch up. And uh, I think with the weather getting colder, um, You'll start to see more videos out of me. Um, going to start opening up the things that are in the closet. I uh, also now can put up pictures, uh, which I think is very cool on YouTube, so I can post updates and things. Um, I might even, every now and then, ask you to choose. You know, throw up two boxes that I haven't opened yet and say, you know, vote, tell me which one you want me to open. Uh, could just be kind of fun, and I like the interaction, so... Anyway, that's enough for me. Um, probably be posting the mukbang video later today. And uh, with that, I'll let you all go. So everybody stay safe, take care of each other. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And come back and see me. Thanks.